Hi, namaste. My name is Henry. Today I have the great honor and privilege to take you visit the temple of the mother of Bhagavan Sri Ramana Maharishi. The temple is called Maturu Budeshvara or God in the form of the mother. Here's a few information about the mother of Bhagavan. Her name was Alamagal. She was born in 1864 and had four children of which Bhagavan was the second one. We know that Bhagavan left home at age 16 after his great awakening experience in Madurai. And he lived for the rest of his life on the sacred mountain of Arunachala. Several times, Alamagal came to visit Bhagavan and pleaded with him to come back and live with her in Madurai. But he always said no. On one of those visits, he explained to her in writing that being a sadhu in Arunachala was his destiny. He wrote, the ordainer controls the fate of souls in accordance with their past deeds. Whatever is this time to not happen will not happen. Try how hard you may. Whatever is this time to happen will happen. Do what you may to stop it. This is certain. The best course, therefore, is to remain silent. In 1916, Alamagal decided to come and live with her son in one of the caves of Arunachala. It was a very austere life. She had to sleep on the floor with no blanket. There was little food. But she was in the company of her beloved son. One time she said to Bhagavan, I do not care if you throw my body to the bush after I am dead, all I want is to die in your arms. They also had joyful times. Sometimes they would cook together and sing a devotional song together. All she wanted is the company of her holy son. In 1920, her health started to decline. And the 19th of May, 1922, was the day that she passed away. For many hours, Bhagavan had his right hand on her heart, his left hand on the top of her head, he stayed with her for many hours and at the end he declared that his mother had attained moksha, total liberation. Later on he would say that only two people had attained liberation, his beloved mother and the cow. Lakshmi. The next day, the body of Alamagal was taken down from Skandarshan to the base of the mountain. Her pit was dug and her body was put 
into Mother Earth. And that was the beginning of her samadhi. Here we see a picture of Bhagavan near the samadhi of his mother. At the beginning, Bhagavan himself built a small samadhi around his mother. Ten days after the passing of Alamagal, Bhagavan organized a big puja and he did serve food to more than a thousand people. The present temple was started in 1939 and was finished in 1949, one year before the Mahasamadhi of Bhagavan Sri Ramana Maharishi. Over the years, millions of people have come to visit the Samadhi of Alamagal. Her Samadhi is now a power center and people come and walk around the Samadhi because they know that this woman was a great saint and a role model when it comes to self-realization and love of our beloved son, Bhagavan Sri Ramana Maharishi. With the permission of the Sri Ramana Hashram, come and visit this temple. We start by looking at the Gopuram that are on top of the temple of Alamagal. This is the Mahanirva room where Bhagavan Sri Ramana Maharishi passed on. It is only about 25 feet from the new temple of his Divine Mother. Until the very end, he came to give darshan to his devotees. As you come in the temple, there is the great seat where Bhagavan used to sit and give darshan in 1949. It was better, he said, when he was in the old hall. And he noticed that it would be difficult for his friend, the squirrels and the monkeys, to come for a visit in this new temple. But because he wanted to please his devotees, he came here every day to give darshan. There has been thousands of testimonials of devotee whose life was completely changed, improved by having the sacred darshan of Bhagavan Sri Ramana Maharishi. We are now entering the temple of the mother. On the entrance to the right is the beautiful statue of Shiva Nataraj and his concert, Parvati. It is important to understand that Bhagavan 
really believed in the two different types of spiritual realization through saguna, the worship of murtis, of Shiva, Ganapati, and so on, and also Nirguna, the realization of the Divine Self as an impersonal realization, which is called Brahman realization. Bhagavan Sri Ramana Maharishi totally approved the worship of idols in the temple dedicated to his mother. Goddess Durga. This magnificent temple is built using the Dravidian style of temple. This is a style that was developed by the Pallavas dynasty that ruled South India from the 4th to the 7th century. Ganapati Dakshina Murti, a form of Shiva Lingu Bhavat, a form of Shiva meaning ray of fire, a ray of light. Balama, Durga,
Temple, 